Hey guys, Jennifer LeClaire here with you, Senior Leader of the Awakening House of Prayer Global Movement. Our church is headquartered here in South Florida. If you're in Fort Lauderdale, come on over and see us. I'm making our way through the Prophets Devotional, forward by Cindy Jacobs. We're doing 10 days of this. 365 daily invitations to hear, see, uh, well, actually hear, discern, activate the prophetic. You think I'd have it memorized by now, but I didn't write the title, not the subtitle. I wrote the prophet's devotional title, not the other. So sometimes I have to remind myself what it says. You can get this book anywhere you buy books online, Barnes and Noble, Christian book, uh, Amazon, of course, uh, books a million. Send in your receipt when you do that through jenniferleclair.contact and get $75 worth of free bonus material to help you grow in the prophetic. Let's dive right into today. It is January 6th entry, when God is silent. When God is silent. Don't you hate that? I don't care for it. But anyway, when God is silent. Revelation 8, verse 1. When the Lamb broke the seventh seal on the scroll, there was silence throughout heaven for about half an hour. Hmm. Ponder that. Meditate on that. Let's look at the devotion. It's, it seems some prophets always have something to say about everything even when it's clear God is not speaking when they open their mouths. Uh-oh. It's a dangerous practice and a temptation any of us can fall into. Considering there is coming a time when even heaven is silent, we should consider being silent in some seasons. We don't have to continually press and press for a word. God is quite capable of speaking to us clearly without the striving. Prophets would do well to keep their mouths tightly shut when they don't have an unction from the Holy Spirit. You too, yet too many prophets feed, feel the prophetic pressure. Too many prophets feel the prophetic pressure, the natural expectation that comes with the office to prophesy profusely in public meetings. And too many prophets feel they must offer a pro uh, must offer up a prophetic word about the latest natural disaster, governmental shift, or economic crisis in order to stay relevant. Yes, God surely does nothing unless he reveals it to his servants, the prophets, Amos 3, verse 7. But that doesn't mean prophets and prophetic people should move beyond the unction and into presumption, does it? We can prophesy according to the proportion of our faith all day long, but that doesn't necessarily make it accurate, does it? Prophetic ministry is not an exercise that is ego boosting, or at least it shouldn't be. If you are not secure in your calling, you may succumb to the requests and offer up something that may or may not be coming from the Holy Spirit just to preserve your reputation. But we we should... We should be far more concerned about our reputation in heaven as a faithful steward of the gifts of God than we are about the about our reputation with man. Noteworthy is the scripture that says, in the multitude of words, sin is not lacking, but he who restrains his lips is wise. Proverbs 10, verse 19. Also, I have purposed that my mouth shall not transgress. Psalm 17, verse 3. Scriptures about the mouth. Scriptures abound on the mouth. All believers, but prophets in particular, should pay, pray this scripture. God help me. Psalm 141, verse 3. Set a guard, O Lord, over my mouth. Keep watch over the door of my lips. Ooh, that's a stinger. There's a few of those along the way in the prophet's devotional because I believe we need to be real. Prophets need to be trained up. Prophetic people need to be trained up in the way they should go. So that when they get under the pressure of ministry, they won't depart from the concepts and the precepts of the inspired written word of God. Amen. Today's prayer starter. Father, in the name of Jesus, help me to embrace the silent seasons when you are not sharing with me earth breaking revelation and applause driving prophetic words. Teach me to dig a well in my spirit during the silent seasons so I can water your people when you send me forth. Amen. I'm reading from the Prophets Devotional. Pick up your copy wherever books are sold, including jenniferleclair.org slash Prophets Devotional. I'll be back with you tomorrow for, wait for it, the Prophet's Primary Task. By See you prophetic then. movement leader Jennifer LeClaire and endorsed by Cindy Jacobs, the Prophet's Devotional was written to equip and encourage you in your prophetic gift. 
No matter where you are in your prophetic journey, this essential resource will sharpen your discernment and hone your delivery of prophetic words. This is a devotional experience unlike any other, providing rich daily teachings and powerful prayers to empower you in your prophetic adventure with the Lord. Over the course of 365 days, you'll discover different functions of the prophetic gift. Avoid common pitfalls for prophetic people. Receive protocol for operating in the prophetic. Engage multiple dimensions of the spirit of prophecy. Discern the spirit realm with increased clarity and hear God's voice more distinctly and frequently. What are you waiting for? The adventure begins today. Get your copy of the Prophet's Devotional wherever books are sold.